Hi guys. Navigating today's dating scene is tough, especially for men who are actually serious about settling down. It's a harsh truth that a lot of women are playing a deceptive game and men are the target. It's so painful to watch good men fall prey to women who weaponize their looks and words, leaving these men in a horrible position at the end of it all. So how can you tell if a woman is genuinely interested in you or you're just being used? Let's get into the sign. Number one, immediate financial demands. If a woman starts talking to you about her financial needs right after you two hit it off, that's a huge red flag. It's a strategic move that's often laced with a dramatic sob story to make you feel like you're going to be her hero. This isn't just asking you for help. It's a manipulation tactic creating a sense of obligation. Whether it's for her bills or for personal expenses, if she's treating you like you're a walking ATM, it's a clear signal. Genuine emotional bonds aren't built on financial dependency. Real connections thrive on mutual respect and understanding, not on one-sided financial support. Number two, constant excuses to avoid public interaction. When she constantly uses the I'm too busy or I'm too exhausted card to sidestep being seen in public with you, it's not just an excuse, it's a strategic move. She's not needing time off, she's keeping you hidden. She's creating a scenario where your relationship thrives in private, away from public eyes so that her public image can remain single. This is called compartmentalization. It's a defense mechanism where someone separates different aspects of their life to avoid discomfort. This divide between private intimacy and public anonymity is a telltale sign of someone who's not all in. It shows a clear lack of commitment and willingness to integrate you into her life fully. Number three, downplaying your relationship in public. This adds to the previous one. When introducing you as just a friend or not even mentioning you at all in public, that's not low key, that's tactical. She's keeping you undercover deliberately. This isn't just about being private, it's a control play. She's holding you in the background, keeping her options open in public, maybe even looking for someone else. This is done in an effort to keep emotional distance and in an effort to also avoid emotional vulnerability. It's a red flag that's indicative of commitment issues and it's a clear sign that she's not all in with you. It's about self-preservation for her, not about valuing what you two have. Number four is pattern of communication based on need. If you notice that her texts and calls ramp up only when she has a favor to ask, that's not random, that's calculated. This kind of hide and cold messaging is a huge warning sign. This isn't about genuine interest or connection, it's about what you can offer her. She's treating you like a resource, not like a partner. This is what psychologists call instrumental relationships, where interactions are based more on utility than emotional connection. When her communication spikes, it's not because she's suddenly more interested in you. It's because she's figured out that you're useful for something, whether it's financial help, a ride, or something else. It's transactional, not relational. The relationship becomes a tool for her needs, not a platform for mutual growth and support. Number five is one-way street treatment. If you find yourself always paying the bill, whether it's for dinners, birthdays, or even during the holidays, if you're the one who's always going above and beyond with gifts while she barely lifts a finger, then it's a classic case of take, take, take with you playing the giver nonstop. And what do you get in return? Maybe a thank you text if you're lucky. This is what's known as a reciprocity imbalance. In a healthy relationship, there's a give and take dynamic that's pretty much equal. But here you're on the losing end of this imbalance. You give, she takes. It's as simple as that. This isn't just an unfair setup. It's a manipulation tactic once again. She's capitalizing on your generosity and exploiting your willingness to provide. It's a power play, not a partnership. If you're seeing any of these signs, then it's time to reassess. Don't be the guy who turns a blind eye. Recognize the game for what it is and make a move that keeps your worth intact. Your time, your effort, your attention, they're valuable. Invest them where they're matched and appreciated. So with that being said, until the next video, I'll see you guys later. Bye.